Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. From time to time you get real estates or other people who have photocopied their keys and lost all the keys and you need to be able to make a key from the photocopy. A lot of the time you get an image like this, uh, preferable if you can blow it up. This will give you a bit more um, room to measure it. But when you do blow it up, you blow up the key and the sizes and things are different. So what we need to do here to recreate this key is use a couple of different things. One, we're going to be using a chart, some vernier calipers. We also have some space and depth keys here. So once we've decoded it, we can actually use the space and depth keys, take it on a duplicating machine, and then cut the code back into the key uh, to specs. So measuring an image like this can be quite hard. We're going to do it on this image here. First thing I like to do uh, to start with is just by getting a red, red pen and just marking the exact back of the key. This just gives you a little bit of a reference because if you can see it there, there's a bit of a shadow. You see that there? There's like a, a couple of mil shadow there. So I want to actually, you know, get it as precise as possible. So by marking in the red, it allows me to know pretty much where I need to be. So I've marked all the cuts there. I've marked them in the red as well. And now we go through and we start measuring. Now there's the point of reference on this key. You could use a couple of different things. I'll just get a key plate. The point of reference we know to be constant is this part right here. This part right here, hard up against the shoulder, that's the height of the key blade. So we could use that. Also, looking at this photocopy when I blow it up, I can tell that the last cut is right on the start of the, of the side groove. So I know that that's going to be right there. So that automatically I could read it and, and give you a good indication of what I think the key is. But we're going to go through uh, for people who haven't done this before or people who are not very familiar with it, and we're going to work it out. So the first thing we're going to do, zero our calipers, find out the height of our key blade, and I've got 8.65. So I'm going to write that down. 8.65. My pen's not very good. Then I'm going to measure the key blade height in the photocopy. And I've got 19.91. 91. Now we're going to use our calculator. 19.91 divided by 8. 0.65 equals 2.31 2.31 now this is not exact but it will give you a good reference where to start so now we can start on our first cut and we're going to measure that and I'm getting 19.51 19.51 divided by our, our magical figure which we found of 2.31 gives us um, 8.45 now just by looking at this key I can tell that's a very shallow key a very shallow cut so I'm going to call that a one cut that's most definitely a one cut in my experience I've got 8.45 um, basically we're underneath the, uh, the zero and I know it's not a zero so I'm going to go with the number one cut of 8.16 which basically means we're about 0 0.30 out I'm just going to write that down point zero and I'm going to label that um, as our first cut as a one cut now I'm going to go measure the second one my bench is very messy at the moment and I'm coming up with 18.28 18.28 divided by 2.31 gives us 7.92 7.92 uh, well, we're underneath the one, and we're also three, uh, 0 0.3 higher. So I'm going to go for uh, number number two. So if you take if you add 32, it we're pretty much on the money there. So we're going to go for a number two cut there. The next cut we got here. I'm getting 16.13. 16.13 divided by 2.31 equals 6.99. Remember, we're going to take uh, 0 0.30 off, so we're probably looking for um, 6.7, I would say. 
just under 6.7 so we're going to go with a number five cut for that now the last two cuts um, I can cheat on this I know where they are because they're the one of the deepest cuts you can get but out of just from experience but I'm going to measure it anyway and go through the process I got 12.36 12.36 divided by 2.1 start again 12.36 divided by 2.13 equals 5.35 so we're really looking for something close to um, basically five underneath five so I would be saying so just a little bit over five it's not 550 because that'll be higher so I'm going to definitely go for a nine on that one which is 5.12 so because of the the photocopy is not exactly accurate and we've got another another nine there because the photocopy is not exactly accurate um, what's kind of happening is we're finding our figure and then we have to move down to the corresponding cut now we found it originally uh, with the height of the key and with the first cut that it was um, if we got our measurements and divided everything by 2.13 we were about uh, 0 0.30 out uh, so and that brought us down to a very reasonably accurate figure so now we can go ahead and cut this key we have two options now we have our key there we could uh, use space and depth keys and what we'll do is we will put um, a one to start with in the key machine like this and then we would put a, a blank in there we would duplicate the first cut which is where the first valley is we would go duplicate duplicate just this one here then rotate our key over to the next one which is a two go to the second position duplicate it here uh, go to the third one of a five, duplicate the fifth cut uh, until we get to the ninth cut and all five cuts are on the key. Um, it's very important to know what type of key you're dealing with here. This is a very standard one. We measure our cuts and we also have corresponding information. If you don't have the information, all the information is on the space and depth keys. We sell these at our lock shop, so you can just go to our lock shop and purchase them. And then from there, you don't need all the charts. You could measure it up against the key. Uh, for example, um, our last one, we were getting 5.35. I could go through and measure these keys right here. And I'm going to bring up, where are we? 8, 9. There's a 9. And I'm getting 5.14. And according to my chart, I should be at 5.12. So that's that's pretty accurate there also you got to remember we were taking off 30 thou so that's um just roughly how uh to make a key from a photocopy other people do it other ways you can actually reduce the photocopy too here's just another little example you can actually reduce a photocopy and then um try and scale it up the best you can print it out scale it's print it up scale it using the head of the key until you get it um you know spot on so what you're looking for there is you want to these components here the head the shoulder and the blade length and the blade height you want to try and match that as much as possible uh, remember you do get a little bit of shadow on photocopies so don't let that put you off and then you can pretty much just cut the key keep cutting and then you could even go as far as holding it up against the light put the light behind it put your key behind it you know fold your piece of paper like so and then see how accurate your key is but there's two ways of doing it from there you just simply get a code machine uh, Here's our code. 